where's that script? Hello, folks. I'm back in my staircase of scolding because some Christians are committing injustice, exhibiting ungrace. Today I am breaking a standard Big Eva rule and identifying the target of my chastening. I am here to warn you about a wicked angloid named John Harris. He knows nothing of the experiences of others. He has never put on gospel glasses. He refuses to do the work of justice. He has caused great anguish and distress to a man of the cloth, Dr. Eric Mason, who is above reproach. He forced Dr. Mason to double down on his false teachings and poor Dr. Eric Mason had no choice but to block John Harris from social media. John Harris ungracefully claims that people like Dr. Eric Mason are importing pagan ideas into the true gospel. This is not true. We in Big Eva are only giving space to differing theological interpretations. But Harris says we are corrupting the word of God and mixing it with another gospel. And he has the audacity to document our own words, our own actions, and our own progressive influences. You must absolutely not buy John's new book, Social Justice Goes to Church. In this dastardly expose, Harris provides primary sourced proof of our syncretistic blending of the New Left critique with the true gospel. How divisive of him. If you're thinking about ordering John Harris's book, Social Justice Goes to Church, stop and think through this together with me. This book tracks our neo-Marxist influences and the hideously deceptive ways we are trying to move American evangelicals onto a foundation of sinking sand that we call social justice. Or at least we call it that for now. If need be, we'll think up a new name. We're wizards at changing names and playing games with language. So I implore you, do not read Social Justice Goes to Church and do not share it with your pastor, elder, or friend. Instead, consider blessing your pastor with my new book, What Downgrade? How Good Leaders Will Let Big Eva Tickle Their Ears. This will provide your pastor with smooth, comforting words about leadership. Beware, social justice goes to church. This will cause your pastor to exhibit injustice and ungrace.